Okay, hi everyone. Thanks for joining me. So uh, in this session I'm going to show you how to lighten or darken different areas of a picture, something we often have to do. In this particular example, as you can see, we've got this area in the bottom left of some rather bright rock, um, which is a bit distracting really, because that's not where the where we're trying to direct the viewer, we're trying to direct the viewer into the scene, not be distracted by this brightness at the edge. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to make a selection around this and then adjust it on its own. Now what I recommend you do is you zoom in so you get a really good shot of the area, a good look at the area when you're making these adjustments. So to do that I usually use, press the Alt key and then use the mouse scroll to zoom in. Then you can press the space bar and hold it and use the mouse click and drag to get the part of the image that you want to adjust nicely on the in the frame. So the way we're going to select this, there's lots of ways you could select this. You could you could do it manually using the 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 you know the um, lasso tool and go around like that but we're not going to do that. A quicker way is to go up here and select the Quick Selection tool, which is the middle one there. And what this does is it automatically selects by colour and, and shade. So if you just click on a part like that, you'll see it's already sent the marching ants out looking around that. And as you move it around, it, it's, it's looking at the areas you want to select and it's trying to find the best match. So you usually find that with a few clicks, as I've done there, it's got a pretty good match. And that's quite a nice edge that we've got going there. You can go in there a bit closer and you can see it's actually done a pretty good job on that. Um, so I'm quite happy with that as a selection. And so what we're going to do now, we're going to... Um, make an adjustment layer. So if you click on the little half uh, white, half black circle and choose levels, it will automatically create a new layer which has got the level slider and a mask. And you'll see the mask has got a bit of white on it and the white represents this area. So when we adjust our levels, it's only going to alter this, this area. So if we go up here to the levels control, we can just wind it down whichever way we like and you can see we can lighten or darken that rock and what I usually find is um, in this case we wanted quite a sharp selection because of this hard edge down here we didn't want a soft selection so that's what I've gone for I'll show you a soft selection method in a minute um, so when I get to actually adjusting it like this when it's all selected I like to take a wider view so we can see how it balances with the rest of the image. So as you adjust that, so you can see that's where it was, was originally, which is quite bright. And if we take that down, it gets to a point where it looks silly if you take it too far. So it's a question of making a judgment as to what's a realistic level to take it down to, where it's believable and no longer distracting. So I would have said that's about it. So that's fine. Now, um, now the only thing I would say we've got a problem with now is we've got some bits of white rock here and there's also a few over here that you might want to address as well. So how do we do that? Do we have to do another selection layer? Well, no, you don't because you can use this mask. <clears throat> okay, so the mask has decided which areas of the picture are affected by that change that we made to the levels. And at the moment, that little tiny white area, which represents this corner of the picture, is the only part being affected. So what we need to do is to add some more white bits to that mask. And that's very easy to do. So if you click on the mask, so it's selected like that, what you can do is come over here and you need to make sure that the foreground and background are black and white. And then select a paintbrush. Okay. Now we can use the Alt key and wheel, uh, mouse wheel to scroll in to that area. And now what we can do 
if we paint white onto that mask, the adjustment will show through. So I could just go like that. You see how it's going on. Now, I've got my brush set to be soft. If it was set to be a very hard brush, like so, when I do it, you get hard lines. Hang on, let me just increase the flow. So very often when you start using the brush, it will be like this. So you'll get hard lines, which is horrid. Now you can undo any of this work by pressing the X key, which will reverse the colours. And we're now painting black, which means we're painting away the adjustment. So if you go wrong, it's dead easy just to go in there and reverse everything. You can change the size of the brush using the square brackets. So we can reverse all that that we've just done. So what I would do when I'm making this sort of adjustment is I would make my brush fairly small. I would then right click on the brush and soften it. So we soften it around about 40-50%. That means the brush has got soft edges. And then up here I would knock the flow down to about 40%, say 30 or 40%. So what you'll find now is that um, when you paint with white, it's having a more gradual effect. Oops, I've still gone wrong. I think that flow needs to be a bit less, actually. So down to about 20%. And remember, you can still do the same thing where if you press X to reverse those colours, you can unpaint the adjustment. If you press X again, it will paint the adjustment in. So we can just go in and paint the bits that we want, just to tone that down a bit more. So that's probably enough just to bring that down. Now we can do exactly the same thing over here. On these rocks over here, we can paint on there as well with using the X and the uh, X button to change between black and white. So when we're painting white, we apply the adjustment. When we're painting black, we take it away. So you can do that at any parts you like. And all we're doing is actually painting on that mask at the moment, but it's allowing that adjustment to come through. So that's an easy way to go through and take out quite targeted bright spots in your image. And that works uh, pretty well, really. So the other thing that we can do we go back um, to when it was just opened. We won't worry about those. So what we might also say in another occasion is that these trees over here are a bit dark. <coughs> we might want to lighten up these trees because they're, they're not matching these at all. <coughs> so we might want to do that. So how could we do that? Well, we still use an adjustment layer, but we do things slightly differently. In the, we pick, say, the polygonal lasso tool and we set a feather up there of about 50 pixels it can be even more and we then just roughly draw around the area that we want to adjust you can use any of the selection tools to do this it doesn't matter which ones you use um, and just draw around that we're doing a very soft selection because we've got 50 pixels. And that's why you'll find it goes to all curved edges like that. So having drawn that selection, what we can now do is go down to the adjustment layer again, press that, and we'll do levels again because it's easy to do. And it often does the job. So now if we alter that, you will see those trees lighten up. You notice there's no hard line between the bit we're lightening up and the rest. It's a very soft graduation and that's the reason for using 50 pixels feather or you can use even more. You can use as much as you like of feathering in there in order to so that it you don't get a hard line between what you've adjusted. Now obviously if you do extreme things like that you can see where it is but for most normal adjustments where you're just lightening it this is actually a very quick and effective way of doing it. And you can do lots of these layers all over the image. So you, I could mark this one up as, you know, background trees. I could do another layer and pick another area that perhaps needs darkening down or lightening up. 
uh, and you can build up layers and layers of these adjustments just to get the image exactly how you like. And of course you don't just have to darken or lighten it in levels, you've got all those options available of um, the, the colour, brightness, contrast, curves, etc. that you can use and you can add adjustments layers. So they're a very um, convenient way of lightening and darkening parts of the pictures. So I hope that's proved helpful. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you again soon.